if, if, this, if the disorder in the outer world uh, is a sign, as I think it is, of disorder in how we think, then the solution begins in schooling and education. But it's not so much a, a crisis uh, in education as it is a crisis of education. And if, uh, you know, all of us have done time, some of you have done hard time maybe, uh, all of us have done time in schools, and they by and large failed at this level. But imagine schools created so that they become microcosms of the way the world works. And the Center for Eco Literacy has, has done this in their case. We've done it at the Lewis Center. Lots of other people have done it. Warren Wilson does it. But imagine schools looking or including food production so young people learn how to make uh, food or grow food from soils. Schools powered by current sunlight. Uh, schools that monitor all their own internal use. Schools that purify their wastewater and then draw a circle around all that and say, that's curriculum. And so from the earliest grades up, the default setting in the mind is, oh, things are connected. And we're such visual creatures, we believe what we see more than virtually anything else. We privilege sight. And imagine from the age of five on, uh, kids seeing whole systems so that everything else becomes an aberration. But I, I would start with, uh, in this case, since you mentioned schooling, I would start with schooling and say, how about a national program to rebuild every school in the country? <coughs> so that every school is powered by sunlight, is a zero discharge place. Its curriculum includes biomimicry, ecological design, sustainable agriculture, sustainable forestry, and a whole list of things that apply to applied skills in local communities.